I think one of the really important milestones that we reached as a society is to get rid of pre-existing conditions and to make it possible that every member could be insured one way or the other. But we have a whole new cascade of technology coming toward us. What, what are we doing about that? Just not only as Harvard Pilgrim, the local business, but as a society overall. What are the main challenges? One of the biggest challenges that we have is that in general, health insurance and to some extent health is a low interest category. And I would just use as an example, people buy health insurance, but they don't really know what that means. If we look at the experiences of members buying insurance through the exchanges, we know that what they're looking at is typically what their premium is, and maybe what maybe they're looking at what their deductible is, but they're not really looking at their total out-of-pocket exposure and they don't understand how their benefits work. And this is a real challenge that we are going to tackle head on on a go forward basis. Technology is key in this new era of healthcare. How will it affect the industry of medicine? Are we going to prolong life or eliminate illness? In the end, it's all about the patient, right? So as we look forward, I would agree people are living longer, Technology continues to evolve, evolve. There's more that we can do with that technology. I put pharma in that same category. Those are costs that just are additive and additive. And I think what we need to figure out is, well, what are we doing on the other side to control costs? What are the things that could be done that aren't being done? And in those categories, I would put things like telemedicine, uh, uh, appropriate level of service center and care. You know, at, if I were a young parent today and I could use technology to look into my kid's ear when they're screaming at two o'clock in the morning and know that they have an earache, or I could follow a protocol like they're working on at Children's Hospital to figure out when I should really take the baby to the hospital, those are things that could dramatically reduce cost on the other side. So I think this is really a balancing act. One side of cost is definitely going to continue to increase. We want the best technology. We want access to the best care. But on the other side, we really need to think about the appropriate provision and site of service for the care that's needed. And I think that technology could make a significant improvement to ensuring the appropriateness of those things. How do you think that the business model of healthcare is going to change in the near future? Do you think that the new players have a more social view on the business of care? I think that new entrance into the market is a very interesting and important aspect to where we're going in the future. Think about somebody like Amazon, Berkshire Hathaway, whatever. And, you know, these are smart people. They hired Atul Gawande. Ha, you know, you don't, you, you're pretty smart, you're pretty smart to do that. I think how that will work though, in terms of the actual insurance model, and will we have an insurance model going forward, is a big question in my mind. And now, you know, in our, in our world today and going forward, I don't really see the government retrenching from participation in the marketplace. This, this continuous debate about Medicare for all and what role will Medicare play in the marketplace overall, the government is the biggest payer we have. I think for us to figure out what the future looks like, we need to take a serious look at what their participation status is going to be and the role that they're going to play, whether it's demonstration projects to further technology or risk management techniques or the like. But we're all getting older. Some of us are already boomers and we're going to be in that Medicare space. 
And what is that gonna look like for all of us?